Hello Gemini, welcome to your January 2019 He Said, She Said reading. Welcome, my name is Michelle and this is Richard. Hello Gemini. I'm here to deliver, well we're here to deliver your channeled messages. First off I'll be putting down the uh, the cards for the female perspective, then Richard will be putting his cards down and that will be the male perspective. What we're doing differently here this month, Gemini, is that we're offering an extended version. So we're doing the reading here on YouTube and if at the end you find that it's resonating and you want to hear more, go uh, deeper into the reading, uh, you'll have the opportunity to, to, uh, to see more on the Vimeo channel and the link will be below in the descriptions box. So that's, uh, that's exciting. So let's get started with your oracle cards here, Gemini interesting kind of energy that I picked up for you around uh, January. You pulled up Azuli, the card of prosperity. Now this is the archetypal collector of Haitian origin. Clever, cunning, multi-talented, Azuli managed three husbands who provided her with a lavish and luxurious existence. Hmm, okay. Now the energy around this is about prospering at the expense of others well-being a life of excess spending taking desiring more and more but it comes at a price strings are attached so we'll see where this goes could be you gemini could be someone around you now from the oracle of mystical moments you've pulled the card of can you hear me so can you hear me uh, speaks to loneliness, a cry for help and communication. So I, I just want to read a little bit of the, of the description here for the card. It says that she looks lonely and deserted, but she has a way of connecting. A tool for turning passive silence into supportive communication. She just needs to raise her trumpet and call for help. So Gemini, is it you or is it someone perhaps who's around you who needs he needs some sort of assistance and is not is not making that call for help. Let's take a look. I've already meditated on your energy here, uh, Gemini. So let's cut these cards. I'll be using the Witch's Tarot for you, or the female perspective. So let's get uh, focused here on the energy of the person that you're thinking about here, Gemini. What they bring to the table when it comes to you. Their floor, as you see it how they feel about you, how you feel about them, the strengths of the relationship, the weaknesses, the potential for a healthy relationship crossed by any roadblock and the potential outcome. Now Richard will lay down the universal weight deck as his uh, the male perspective. So the energy of the person you're thinking about, what they bring to the table when it comes to you, their flaw, how they feel about you and how you feel about them the strength of your relationship, the flaw of your relationship, potential crossed by any roadblock, any outcome. Okay, let's get started here, uh, Gemini, and of course it can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Now, the energy of the person that you're focused on, let's take a look. Six of Cups in reverse. So with this one, it, it is letting go of the, the past. The energy around this is also about possibly not learning, what, what I get around this is not learning the, uh, the lessons. From past mistakes. From past mistakes. Mm, let's take a look at the male perspective. The hanged man. So the hanged man, it's, it's about sacrifice. Mm. Sacrifice of what, though? I mean, uh, maybe maybe it's a, also a need to sacrifice something. Yeah, well, let's uh, continue and we'll see uh, what comes up here. Now, when it comes to what this person brings to the table, when it comes to you, the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, so an opportunity to for forgiveness, to accept a situation as lost, and to move on. So, I'm wondering, I'm wondering what this is. It, it, it could be, I, I pick it up as possibly 
something that needs to be learned, a behavior, a behavior of some kind. But around this, I do feel for you, Gemini, that this will give you an opportunity to to, to move on. It's more, I get it as a moving on energy. So let's see. Okay, the chariot in reverse. And the chariot in reverse. It's um, it's it's more of a more of a, a stuck energy, really. Yeah. So it's uh, it's kind of an interesting interesting combination there. The the five of cups in reverse, and then and then the chariot in reverse. So this is what they're bringing to the table with you, and uh, it it looks as though it's it's a, it's a situation where. Uh, there, there seems to be a need, a need to move on, and perhaps that that just isn't happening. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I get the sense that th this could be totally about you, uh, Gemini, but or both sides may resonate as you. I, I get that, but we'll see. Let's take a look at the floor, the Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's this fast movement as as a floor. Possibly you, you move from situation to situation. You let you find it very easy. This could be you rather than or could be the other person as well. That finds it very easy to, to let go, that there's not a lot of I, I wanna say sentimentality or thinking about the past. You you seem to be a person or this other person seems to be a person who finds it easy to to move on to the next fast you, movement. You know, I see the chariot now in reverse as as being a, an an inability or a or a lack of need on your part or the part of the other person to change that behaviour. Mm. Let's look at the male perspective on the floor. The male perspective is here is uh, the seven of swords in reverse. So the the actual the floor here. Is the fact that they are perhaps too apologize, too too ready to apologize? Mm -hmm. Perhaps they they're too forgiving. Mm. They're too indulgent of behaviors which are not in their best interest. Mm -hmm. Let's see how they're viewing you here, Gemini. Seven of Wands. Okay, so they seem to see you as someone who has their their guard up. Uh, you're protective. There seems to be a protective layer around you. You don't seem to let people in, especially when it comes to your past. Uh, I, there's something around, uh, and I get it as around more around you here of someone who is not finds it very difficult to open up or someone who just is very defensive defensive over the past defensive over past choices let's look at the male perspective no well, before we do that yeah let's look at the this here i get a lot of loneliness with this card yes yes i think that the guard is up to yeah. the point that there's uh, there's not even a, an ability here to to cry for help when th when that help is is clearly needed. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at the male perspective on this one. So the Knight of Wands. Again, there's that movement. Yeah, that movement. Um, so so this is this is how um, they're seeing you. So there's passion there. They see you as, as being passionate, a person a person who likes to likes to be passionate, likes to take action on passion. Mm. Let's see how you're viewing them. The Ace of Pentacles. Well, for you, there, there does seem to be an attachment here to to prosperity, uh, money, a financial situation that you view as an opportunity. Mm, let's take a look at the male perspective here. Mm, okay. So, so the, the Four of Cups, which speaks to perhaps the perhaps the, uh, the lack of wanting to take an offer. Mm. So, so maybe there's there's some even though 
you may want this Gemini, mm. this uh, this Ace of Pentacles, this long-term financial stability. Uh, perhaps you're not willing to to be giving of other parts of yourself. You know, I get that that. I get that there is an opportunity around you, Gemini, but somehow you still have your guard up around it. There seems to be something that you have released something from the past. Possibly, I, I, I get the sense that this may have been something that you let go of. You've moved on. You have a lot of optimism around the, the, the future. There seems to be moving quickly though. But you do see that, that this is a really a good opportunity for you, especially when it comes to, to prosperity, to have something long term, something that may provide you with that uh, level of um, finances that, that perhaps you or this other person craves, yet there's still this defensiveness up around you. So what is that about? There is also the possibility that they're not taking some sort of offer from you as well. Yeah, the other person, I, I feel like, there is there's something there where mm, yeah we'll, we'll have to see where this goes let's have a look at the strength temperance card is the strength you know I think that this this person may be able to provide you with some kind of stability stability within yourself some sort of balance a balance mm. let's take a look at the uh, male perspective but at the at the cost of perhaps uh and, and the not not changing when one needs to change mm. so it, i see that this might might possibly put off mm. a, a need for inner growth yeah let, let's take a look at the the weakness here the hermit so that would make sense there Richard with what you you were just saying uh, about the fact that th there needs to be some reflection here on choices and, and why you make the choices that you do here uh, Gemini because I can't help but think that there's a, a pattern here where you look for perhaps things that give you an opportunity for well I, I get it as accumulating wealth really so as the weakness with the relationship I, I think there's a real need to, to to take some time here to reflect to gain clarity on what it is you're doing why you're doing it and uh, on whether or not this is this is ultimately going to be fulfilling for you yeah what seems to fit here is that the strength of this relationship is the lack of change mm. the flaw is in a wisdom yes so i think once this wisdom gets attained then perhaps it doesn't go the way that it looks like it's going to go mm. and again uh, it's this uh the flaw here is not moving on when one perhaps needs to move on. Yeah, there's a stagnant energy around you. I think it's, it's the thing is that I get around you is that there have been experiences that have been similar to this in the past, yet there, there may have been, it may have gone unrecognized, what, what your pattern is or, or what you, how you go about your relationships or what you seek in relationships because I get that you seem to perhaps move from one to the other quite quickly uh, th there seems to be fast movement here as is a flaw something happening quite quick but but I, I get I, I get there's still the, this this guard up around you though that that's that's the thing and, and it seems to be something that you would benefit from doing that that inner work and needing to perhaps spend some time thinking about 
the choices that, that you've made yeah. in order for you to get clarity so you can move on. Because I don't think until you get this, this clarity, this wisdom, you, you, you're going to be stuck in this kind of pattern. Yeah, and I, I get this with the chariot here in, in reverse here. It's stuck energy it's as being, well. Being, uh, that can also be stuck energy. Yeah, yes. I think that, that there's a real need for you to turn over a new leaf here to, to change. Well, I also feel that this one is um, someone who is being held accountable. So you may not be being held accountable for things that you've done in the past in terms of the way you go about relationships or, or how you view relationships i don't think you see it as love there's no love here it seems to be all about what they can give to you or what they can provide yeah, from a uh, from a material point of view yeah mm, not great energy gemini i don't this may not be you it may be someone around you so I want to make that clear. I don't want to make it seem like I'm picking on Gemini's here. It could be someone around you that's doing this. As the uh, potential, you have the card of karma, which is the card of justice. As the roadblock, you have the, the five of swords in reverse. Well, you know, it's a karmic situation for you as well. I, I think it's a karmic lesson something that you really need to go deep within here to look at looking at why you do this I think you may need some help in in uh, in this maybe some some therapy or help from someone who can assist you with with why you have uh, acted the way you have in, in terms of relationships and seeking out relationships that you do again you or someone around you Gemini so yeah and, and the roadblock here with the five of swords in reverse it, it, it seems to me like this has it's a need to, to get a, a resolution to to what seems to be causing causing conflict or I want to say with that card of karma as the potential, I feel like there's potential for you if you do that work, if you really look, it, it's kind of the judgment day, it, it, it's, it's that wake up call, getting that wake up call in order for you to really look at why you're doing the things that you do so that you can learn from them, which I don't think that you have in the in the past I don't think you've learned from this and you keep doing the same thing and it may be just ending the same way every time so there's a real need for you to, to look deep look at past choices look at why you're making the choices what decisions haven't worked for you in the past what changes can you make in your life here in order to to get what you uh, the, 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 the kind of life that you want I mean is prosperity, is finances the, the, the thing that you really want? Or is it a deeper relationship? I think this is something that you need to come to terms with in order for you to, to, to drop whatever baggage uh, that you've been carrying around here from the past and, 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 and move on to, uh, to, to a better situation. Because I get a card here... And I'm sorry to say this, Gemini, and again, it may not be you, but it may be someone around you. There seems to be someone here who uses others for what they can provide to them. And there's a need, when I see the Five of Swords in the upright, it, uh, it speaks to me of someone who's using. It's very much an energy of getting what you want at, at any cost. But the Five of Swords in reverse as the roadblock here is telling me that that, that energy needs to be dropped. That kind of energy that you're carrying around with you where you just feel like I just I'm sick of I just want people who I can get something from and I, I, I don't I don't feel love for anyone I just want what they can give me and if they can give me something then I'll it's almost like pretending pretending that you're in love with someone just because of what you what they can provide to you I'm sorry, uh, you know, it may not be you, Gemini, it, it may be somebody else around you. 
So we've got the Devil in reverse and the Page of Swords. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's in the upright here. Wow. Yeah, and the Devil in reverse, that speaks to a need, I think, to get rid of addictions or obsessions, things that are not helpful to you in the way you live your life. Mm. And the Page of Swords here is, I think, a wake-up call. Yeah. Is, is, what, is what I'm seeing. That's, that's the roadblock. Yeah. Is a realization, an epiphany, I think, in this instance. The given truth. It, yeah, the given truth. It, yeah, given it's the page of swords, I think it, that truth is going to have to come from somebody else. Mm. A message of some kind. Somebody telling you what's going wrong in your life. Mm. Mm. Maybe that hasn't happened. Maybe that people just... Uh, you, you could be someone or this person... Uh, could be someone who is just kind of allowed to act this way yeah right yeah being held accountable i think you need to be held accountable for your actions you haven't been and that's a problem or this other person hasn't been held accountable for their actions let's look at the outcome here well, you know, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse tells me that you're not going to get what you want by using people. By... Uh, the thing is... You know... People, especially when they get older, and, and if I'm talking about someone here who is uh, uh, looking at men as potential sources of a comfortable lifestyle, this is ultimately going to be unfulfilling for you. It's not going to give you that sense of accomplishment, feeling successful in your life. It, it will actually do the opposite thing. I have a, a real sense of, of you here as somebody who needs to change their life change the way that they're, they're, they're viewing other people and, and how you're viewing relationships. Maybe get your, uh, your own life under, under control here, Gemini, or this other person needs to get control of their life in order for them to, to bring about their own prosperity instead of trying to use others as a potential source of um, prosperity. Let's look at the male perspective. Yeah, look, I mean, look at that. I think this person's going to realize that, well, you're a gold digger. You, you, you. The, the, the thing is, people can see through this behavior. They know if you're not truly in love with them. And especially a, a man of a certain age, if he's been around the block a few times, he can sense. And... I think that you may be hearing news here that this person that you're viewing as an opportunity it may be rejecting you and, and it looks like you're going to end up alone here, Gemini. Again, again, but it may not be a bad thing because I, I get the sense that you're someone here who needs to look at your own independence. I need, I need to do your own inner work. Yeah, yeah. in order to, to get that success and fulfillment in your life rather than looking at others. So lots to clarify in part two. If this is resonating with you as, as uh, someone around you, I don't think it's you, Gemini. I think it's someone around you or a Gemini that you know if you're cross-watching. Uh, someone who seems to be uh, using somebody else as a, as uh, income, really. So lots to clarify in part two. I hope that you join us there. The link is below in the descriptions box, and that will be on the Vimeo channel. We'll be pulling out a lot more cards. We'll go deeper into this situation. If we don't see you there, uh, then we wish you all the best. If you would like a personal reading, uh, we have a special on at the moment for your own he said, she said reading. And uh, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, for further information. So wishing you the best with this, Gemini, and uh, bye for now. Bye, Gemini.